In order to do a titration, you're going to need a burette, um, and you'll need a burette clamp, and you'll need a clamp stand. So here is the clamp stand. Here is what we call a burette clamp, which is a little bit different than from some of the other clamps you've used. This one has this little pinch clamp over here. And then, of course, here is the burette okay, that you will need. And I know it's not very clear, but the zero is at the top and 50 is at the bottom okay, for uh, reading the burette. To set up a burette, you will need to set the clamp on here. Set it nice and tight okay, so you don't break anything or nothing slips down. And then your burette is going to go right here. So pinch the two clamps over here and put them right here between the grooves. Okay, in here, your burette should be perpendicular to the stand. Okay, it should not be tilted in any way, otherwise you will not get a good reading. Um, you can have your burette facing yourself, so wherever you're standing, that's where it should face you so you can read what you're doing. So this is open right now, okay, for the burette, and this would be closed, okay, at this point. So perpendicular is closed and then parallel is open and you can control the flow uh, by turning this around okay as I will show you in a few minutes okay. okay in order to fill a burette you need to fill it of course from the top over here so as you can see for a person like me who's a little bit vertically challenged this is not the easiest thing to do so in these cases what you may need to do is turn the burette around this way so it's facing on the other side of the stand and push it out on the edge. Okay, again, be very careful that you don't break uh, the burette. Okay, and don't let it slip down and break. So be very careful. Okay, and then um, place your burette here. There are a couple of things that you have to do with the burette. Okay, first of all, you have to make sure it's clean. Um, and if it's clean, if you've cleaned with distilled water, then the second thing you'll have to do is you will have to wash it with whatever liquid you're going to put in here. So whatever solution you have, whether it's sodium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, or any other solution that you have, you have to wash it with that as well. So you can coat the inside of the burette with that solution. So here I have sodium hydroxide, which is what I'm going to use to wash my burette. So here is a little itty bitty uh, funnel that you can use for burettes. And you can place it in here. The nice thing about these funnels is that their stems are not very long, so they don't displace any liquid, okay, over here. You have um, funnels in your drawers as well, which you can use, but in those cases, the stem may be a little bit long and it will go down, and if it goes down, please make sure you lift it high up so that the stem does not displace the liquid, okay, or you will go higher above the zero point. So now here, I have to pour liquid inside it so I can wash my burette, so let me lower this a little bit so it's a little bit more accessible for me. And I'm going to use my funnel, of course, to pour the liquid. So I need to pour a little bit liquid. In some cases, um, labs call for you to fill it up all the way to zero and then just empty the burette out. I prefer not to do that because that wastes uh, solutions. So here's what I do is I fill it up just a little bit, maybe five to 10 milliliters, and make sure you lift the funnel, okay, so you can release the air that's being displaced by the liquid. So pour just a little bit of liquid in it. And then take out the burette. And then very gently you can rock it. Yeah, that sounds like a great song. So go ahead and rock the burette, okay? And then you can see that the liquid is in here and it's being coated, okay, all over the burette. Uh, if you want, you can also fill it up all the way to zero and then just release the liquid and that will be fine as well, okay? Otherwise, just make sure that this is how you do it. If you're uncomfortable doing it this way, then you can walk over to the sink and do the same thing here. Just make sure you don't spill anything because in this case, this is sodium hydroxide. It's not very harmful. It's not toxic, but in some cases it might be. So please be careful. You don't have any spillage and so you rock it gently. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and um, empty this out into a waste container. So if you have a waste container on your bench, then you can go ahead and release it in there. So make sure you release it from down here so that the tip also get coated with whatever solution you're going to use for titration. So once it's come down from here and you want to close it and you want to empty it out from here, that is absolutely fine with me. And then make sure you release all the liquid 
that you still have here. Okay, so that way when you fill it up again, it's going to be all nice and clean. Don't try to blow out anything from here. Whatever liquid is remaining, just let it be. Okay, and so then close the burette. Put it back in again over here. And now my burette is clean and ready to use. And let me see, it's all in the grooves. So now I can fill up my burette. And you can fill it up to zero if you want, or you can fill up to whatever number you want, um, provided you read it. Okay, that's the most important thing. All right, so to fill up this burette, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up to zero. And again, see that this is not at my eye level, so I really cannot tell whether this is zero or not, so I'll have to lower it down and then make sure it is at zero, which it is not. So the best thing to do at this point is to take my waste container, put it down here, and release it very, very slowly, maybe drop by drop. and make sure it comes down to zero. Perfect. Okay, and so now that it's at zero, my burette is ready. Place that back up again. And I'm a little bit uh, particular about this. I like to do my titration right on the clamp, not on the bench over here. So I will set it up right here. I'm good to go. And this is what I have now. In order for me to set up my titration now, I will need to have at least one paper towel right here because any color changes will be a little bit more clear on a white piece of uh, paper. Okay, so either you have paper or you use a paper towel for uh, doing your titration.